James Kaufman, World News Report today, August 12th, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, as many of you may already know, we started the day off very, very rough. We started the day off with three hours of moderate geomagnetic storms here. And this is going to be the KP 6.33. That was followed up by nine hours of KP 7 plus or a G3 strong geomagnetic storm. Nine hours. We just got hit with three hours of a severe G4 KP 8 geomagnetic storm. Now, there's a huge problem with this bar, and we're going to go into it because I don't see any plasma or solar winds over the last three hours. Very, very strange, especially when we compare it to yesterday when we had plasma hitting 50s and 60s, and we barely, barely got to geomagnetic storm levels here. So... We're going to have to question everything coming from any government agency. And I've got lots of questions about this severe geomagnetic storm. Headed over to discover real-time solar wind satellite. See what's really going on. The day started right here at 0 hundred UTC time. They say that we were in a strong geomagnetic storm. I'm in total agreement with that. We have plasma here at 50.96. And solar winds are just at 500, much slower than anticipated or predicted. Now, what happens? That's our first bar ends right here at 3 UTC time. Plasma is not as strong, but that's all right. We go to our second bar here. Uh, we've seen, well, Five bars in 15 hours of time thus far today. During our second bar, we also had some decent plasma here. 36.34. That ended here. And that would be another strong geomagnetic storm. Now, if you notice the trend, plasma is decreasing quite strongly. And we're only on bar number two of the KP index. Next bar is going to be from uh, 6 UTC time to 9 UTC time. And I will even go for a strong geomagnetic storm here at 30.49. Although yesterday with levels stronger than this, much stronger than this, double this, we only had a, well, G1 KP 4.67 solar storm i did question that at the time now again we're in the middle of our third bar that'd be our third bar and that's going to be all strong geomagnetic uh activity then from nine to twelve we go into our fourth bar this is when i start to have a lot of trouble nine to twelve here we go back and look we don't have any significant plasma, but it does go up to about 17.26 before it finishes off that fourth bar. And they do say that we're still in strong geomagnetic territory between 9 and 12 UTC time. Now we're going to get into severe geomagnetic territory. Now this is where I have a serious problem. From 12 to 1500 UTC time, plasma is just barely above space weather threshold of 10 centimeters cubed. It does die under that before the bar is finished. Solar winds start up at 500 and die down to 469 with plasma below space weather threshold. But for these three hours... They've marked that we're in a severe geomagnetic storm. That I will never understand. There's no plasma or solar winds 
and temperatures are very mild. What's going on here? So, just so you guys don't think I'm crazy, here from 0, 100 to 3, we started out with a G2 geomagnetic storm, and that's going to be a moderate geomagnetic storm, followed by nine hours of a strong geomagnetic storm, KP7s and a KP6.67. Although I argue that Space weather conditions drop off quite a bit during this strong bar here. When we move to 12 to 1500 UTC time, we see a KP8, KP8 G4 severe geomagnetic storm. And I just showed you there was no plasma and there is no solar winds that should have caused anything like this. This is caused if the atmosphere is wiped out and the solar winds rush through. But that isn't the case. We can see via our Discover satellite that's very close to Earth within our atmosphere that solar winds have completely died off and plasma is below space where the threshold uh, levels of 10 centimeters cubed. Why do we have a severe geomagnetic storm? Um, not to mention why this is a strong geomagnetic storm, but why a severe geomagnetic storm from 12 to 1500 UTC time? That is, well, bad information to say the least. Over to ACE Real Time Space Weather Satellite, another satellite. We can see how strong the plasma was here yesterday compared to today, all of today. And remember, we only generated a G1 4.67 KP index solar storm. A minor solar storm with plasma that reached over 70 centimeters cubed yesterday. Now, as we go in today, we'll definitely have plasma hitting for the first part of the day. But obviously, from, let's see here... 12 to 1500 plasma never really went over 20 centimeters cubed here and really died off totally along with solar winds dying off and look at the temperature going down to baseline so i don't understand why they suggest that we're in a severe solar storm with plasma that doesn't exist in space weather, well, storm conditions and solar winds that are at 450 kilometers per second. Whereas yesterday they called it a G1 geomagnetic storm and we had plasma two, three times stronger than we've seen all day today. Over to NOAA's Space Weather Prediction Center Several impacts expected today. I'm not quite sure where we are in the swing of things. But right now, there is no plasma whatsoever above 10 centimeters cubed. So we're somewhere down here. Solar winds are not going to go anywhere over 600 kilometers per second. Actually, they're at 450. Here they have them going to about 650 kilometers per second. Very strange prediction, but aren't they all? It's not like they make this up or almost make this up. It's like they completely make it up. Weekend summary 11th and 12th anticipated chrome mass ejections arrived during the weekend and allowed for G1 to G4 minor to severe storm levels to be reached. G1 was first reached very early Sunday. Coronal mass ejection influences intensified later on the 11th and became even more favorable for strong and severe geomagnetic responses by the 12th. That's today. And a G4 severe condition was first reached, well, just now. Monday morning, but not UTC time. We're talking about from, well, 1200 UTC time which would be midday to 1500 UTC time. The 12th through the 14th, coronal mass passage is likely to continue into 
Tuesday. However, there is great uncertainty with how long passage and effects will continue and how favorable solar wind conditions may be. Eleven sunspot clusters were present on the visible solar disk late on Sunday, and some of these regions remain quite capable of producing solar flares at the R1, R2 minor to moderate level with a chance for an R3 strong event. Those are radio blackouts, right? Between August 8th and 10th, 2024, five coronal mass ejections or CMEs were observed leaving the sun, prompting geomagnetic storm watches. The coronal mass ejections reached Earth over the weekend, August 11th and 12th. Coronal mass ejections, which are massive eruptions of solar material, can trigger geomagnetic storms upon arrival at Earth, potentially impacting various technologies. Geomagnetic storm conditions steadily intensified throughout the weekend into early Monday, accumulating in a G4 severe geomagnetic storm shortly before 1500 UTC time where we see no plasma and no solar storms, period. The Space Weather Prediction Center has maintained continuous communications with power grid reliability coordination centers. The level of storms also causes HF communications, radio communications, degradation at high latitudes and increased satellite drag in low Earth orbit. Conditions are expected to persist into Tuesday, but the duration of coronal mass ejection impacts and the favorability of solar wind conditions remain highly uncertain. These conditions are part of the ongoing solar cycle 25, which has reached one of its highest levels of sunspot activity in over 20 years. Continue to visit Space Weather Prediction Center webpage for the latest updates, forecasts, etc. God bless you and yours, folks. Please explain how we're in a severe geomagnetic storm with plasma under 10 centimeters cubed and solar winds at 450 kilometers per second. That will be my final question. Share, subscribe, and always remember that anything is possible. Bizarro world.